Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how you can build your own VPN on cloud. VPN stands for virtual private network and there could be many regions that you might want to have a VPN. And if it's your own VPN then you control the traffic and you control everything and you don't have to share your browsing history with VPN service providers. I am going to demonstrate super simple way to build your own VPN in this video. So let's get started. Now coming to my computer screen here you can see I already have opened one website and that is get outline. So in order to build a VPN you need only one thing and that is VPS or cloud server. In this video I am going to demonstrate building a VPN using turnkey internet cloud servers but uh, you can uh, buy cloud from DigitalOcean or Linode or AWS wherever you want no restrictions at all. I am using turnkey internet uh, just for one thing because they are promising to have unlimited unmetered bandwidth. If you go to this uh, uh, DigitalOcean you will see you will see they will uh, allow you 1000 GB of transfer since uh, it's a VPN so obviously you will be needing traffic and uh, if it's unmetered bandwidth then it's uh, super great and also they are uh, giving gigabit uh, network port so internet speed will be fast obviously you don't have to buy this one you can just get started with the smallest one and after you have placed the order you will uh, get your IP address and uh, the password. So now I have uh, my IP address and password here on notepad all I am going to do is to copy this and uh, obviously I am connecting from Windows machines so I will need an special SSS client which is putty in my case so if you just uh, don't know how to connect uh, from your Windows machine to Linux remote machine all you need to do is to go to InGuide website and you can search SSH here and you will find this article how to connect to remote server using SSH from Windows. So now if you scroll down you will find that uh, this part connecting from Windows to Linux using Linux remote server using SSH and in that uh, one is putty SSH client just uh, open just open this uh, putty website and then you can download putty from here depending on your computer whether 64 bit or 30 bit 32 bit you can make your download now once you have downloaded all you need to do is to open this uh, putty and next uh, you have to copy the ip address paste it here then click open and you will get this warning window just accept it and now here you have to type username root and let me get the password so this is the password all right so i am now logged into remote server now next step is to go to outline this get outline.org i'll put the links of uh, all the articles and everything i used in this video in the description so now you have to click on get outline and you have to download outline manager so here you have to make your selection it's uh, for all three major operating system so just click on download the outline manager and wait for download okay so now you can see it's uh, getting downloaded and let me open it it's uh, not going to take much time so after you have downloaded this uh, outline manager you have to open it and install it on your windows machine or uh, whatever machine you are on 
now you have to agree here okay and now you can see it will uh, tell you that it can be installed on DigitalOcean, Google Cloud Platform, Amazon Lightsail or even you can install it on somewhere else like Linode, LiquidWeb, uh, Walter and it's installed using simple install command. So what you have to do is to click setup here and it will give you the command to execute on your uh, server. So let's copy this command and uh, go to this uh, your uh, putty window let me make some changes here all right so and then paste the command and after that press enter now it will tell you that uh, docker is not installed and therefore it will ask your permission obviously you have to answer yes here and then press enter now here you can see that I am getting some message like uh, something went wrong and it couldn't continue. It's uh, sometime it happens because your operating system might not be up to date. For that you have to execute one command and that is apt update minus y and press enter and it will update the operating system. So now after you have updated your operating system you will get this message 126 packages can be upgraded now here you can skip upgrade and instead you can run two commands that would be useful and that is apt install curl minus y and it will install curl on your operating system and also install wget apt install wget that's why i'll put all those commands in the description therefore you will not have any problem after that uh, press enter and now here you can see that wget is already the newest version so after that let me get back to outline and i'll copy this command and paste here press enter and now once again answer yes and now you can see this is processing it is installing docker so basically you have to execute uh, two three additional command before executing the commands uh, given by outline manager so after installation you will get uh, output something like this that you have to paste here once you have uh, done this part then uh, you will need an outline client. So you will need to use this outline client to enable VPN. So let's uh, download this. Here you can uh, make selection whether uh, we, you want to download for Android, Windows, Chrome. So just uh, download. It's uh, good to see that it's available for Android as well. And you can also share this uh, outline, I mean this uh, VPN with your friends uh, and families. So let's uh, get back to this uh, terminal and now you can see that I got this uh, commands or instruction in green, uh, in green color. So all you need to do is to copy this part and go to your outline manager, paste here and then click done. Alright, so now it will uh, tell you to create keys and that is the key you have to share with your friends, then only they will able to access. So you have to, now this is also saying that you are not connected yet and for that you have to install outline client. Obviously we have downloaded outline client and now we are going to install it. So okay, got it, avoid data over is. Here you can make few settings and here you can also means enable data limits if you like. Alright, so now go to connection and here if you click on this uh, little computer and mobile icon then uh, it will pop up a window and uh, 
you have to click on connect this device and this is your access code this is the access code you have to share with your friends or families and they have to download outline client so let's uh, open it and uh, install it basically so wait for this outline to set up and obviously this window will pop up install now installation of outline client is complete and uh, after that next you have to click here which says got it and uh, then click on add server and it will ask you access key and i'll have to get the access key from here i'll copy it and uh, then okay you see it already detected access key basically i copied and it detected and after that click on add server so this will add the server and now once you click connect it will establish the connection vpn connection between your computer and the internet so before i click on connect i would like to show you that my ip address is this one and now I am going to click connect so after connection you will see this will be the my IP address so now you can see message connected to outline server and you will see this uh, icon turning green and uh, here it will give you some tips and let me open it in a new window and I'll type my IP address and now you can see this is my IP address so this is how you build your own VPN it's uh, super easy just uh, two three lines of command and uh, and you'll get your VPN server running in no time and also you don't have to buy very big VPS or cloud to install this VPN you can have very small VPS or cloud server just uh, to get it installed all you need to do is to bypass the traffic and basically you are interested in traffic this can be installed on digital ocean google cloud aws wherever you want process is same nothing different make sure that you select any version of ubuntu whether it's 20.04 18.04 doesn't matter just make sure that you have selected ubuntu latest is the better i hope you would like this video and thank you for watching see you in the next video